so whenever we are choosing an instrument as far as test and measuring instrument is concerned whatever your needs always choose for ranges slightly higher than what you actually require or want to measure the selection of tnm instruments varies from applications to application there might be different needs for different user a person working in industries will be having an lt network and will be requiring instruments like insulation testers or testers power call analyzers underground cable route tracer to maintain his power network efficiently whereas a person working in transmission utility will be requiring a very high and sophisticated instrument which can survive the harsh condition of electromagnetic interference hello everyone welcome to another episode of motor for industry special bulletin this time we are going to discuss on how to improve power quality with test and measurement instruments the session is powered by sonil instruments india and co powered by metravi instruments power quality is a major concern of both electricity providers and their customers when we talk about today's advanced industrial facilities if there is a sudden dip or spike in power the efficiency suffers that may result in huge indirect costs in terms of plant downtime equipment or component replacement lost work in process and additional workforce just think about a hospital poor power quality can result in damage to life saving equipment test and measurement instruments can help you to avoid such mishaps These instruments are used to assess the status of power quality and plan for necessary preventive or corrective measures to ensure availability and efficiency of major electrical equipment. Electric power quality plays an important role in which the voltage and frequency should remain within specified tolerance. Good power quality can be defined as a steady supply voltage that stays within the prescribed range but in today's electrical network deviations from these ideal conditions are frequent due to increase in nonlinear and other loads disturbing the grid power quality monitoring and checking the consumption is very crucial this include voltage current or power factor a sudden or even a gradual change in power can greatly affect your power quality reducing your efficiency or causing other problem common cause of variation in power quality including voltage spikes and swells short and long interruptions of power lasting from milliseconds to few seconds a power quality analyzer systems inform diagnostic electrical testing data perform on your machines to tell you how they are doing power quality analyzers provide temporary monitoring of these machines and your power system to check the power distribution and possible disturbances that can decrease productivity by detecting issues early on you can fix them before they become much bigger problem sonal power quality analyzers can measure and record according to iec 61000-4-30 class a standard the loss of power is the biggest uh, challenge for all the industries now nobody wants to pay for something which they have not used so the way we control it is either you have a perfect power factor of 1 where you have the maximum efficiency of uh, consuming the power or the other way of doing it is uh, try to see how how close you can uh, get to the perfect power factor of 1 if you have a too too high inductive or too high capacitive load this might result over a period of time that those loads could get destroyed there are losses the losses could be because of the second or the third harmonic that is the second and third harmonic that is present as far as distorted waveforms are concerned now those also needs to be identified in a motor if the second and the third harmonic is too high and the motor gets heated and if it comes off your entire production line is gone so like this if as far as part distribution is concerned in part distribution also we need to see whether all the three phases have a balanced load or not if the loads are not balanced and one phase has more load as compared to the rest of the two you will be consuming more power as it is you know on all the three phases the losses are going to be huge if these testings are not done in time and the preventive maintenance are not taken care of so 
whenever we are choosing an instrument, as far as test and measuring instrument is concerned, whatever your needs, always choose for ranges slightly higher than what you actually require or want to measure. That is the first thing. Now, the second thing is, as far as, uh, you know, the usage of the power quality an analyzer is concerned. Now, how accurate you want the instrument, depending on that, you will have to choose which instrument you need to take. If you require a very accurate instrument, then there is a different grade of accuracies and then you have to choose on the accuracy level. So, that's another aspect. Number three, as far as we are going to our customers are concerned, not only power quality analysis or insulation testing in power industries, whatever the customers ask for, we always try to provide something which is higher than what they actually are asking for. That is the most important thing for us to provide the right solution to the people, to the right, they should choose the right instrument. The selection of TNM instruments varies from applications to application. There might be different needs for different user. A person working in industries will be having an LT network and will be requiring instruments like insulation testers, earth testers, power quality analyzers, underground cable root tracer to maintain his power network efficiently. Whereas a person working in transmission utility will be requiring a very high and sophisticated instrument which can survive the harsh condition of electromagnetic interference for which he will be using insulation tester up to 10 or 15 kV. High end thermovision cameras having detector resolution of 640 by 480. This kind of a cameras can help users to detect hotspot even at the far distance thanks to ultra telephoto lens. Sonal 15 kV insulation tester is designed to be used in 1200 kV switchyard surviving such high induction this insulation testers also have a PD counter, which is a unique feature of Sonal 15 kV insulation testers. If there is any kind of a PD formation in the testing object, this insulation tester will help us to count the photons and will indicate the presence of PD. Sonal offer TFR instrument, which is used to measure the impedance of transmission tower. It uses the impulse technology as per IC standard and a very compact product. Sonal thermal imaging cameras are very advanced and very user friendly. It has got tiltable lens as well as tiltable display, which is very useful for transmission as well as for switchboard application. No other competitor has this feature for thermal camera. It has also got viewfinder, GPS, compass, which makes thermography very effective. These are the few unique products from Sonal product line. So this is a uh... This is an insulation tester with a milli ohms meter and it basically tests all possible parameters of rotating machine any, for any motor or generator. Now this, the unique thing in this is this has got a thermal image and now you see if I put my hand behind you can see the fingers flickering. The color determines what is the temperature and the bar is given uh, here of what color uh, donates what temperature. Now, along with this, what you can also do is you can record uh, the current as maximum as about 3000 amperes. You can use a, a contact type probe to measure temperatures of various points that you would like to measure. The low resistance measurement for winding resistances, when you can see the winding resistance is uh, low or not, because if the winding resistance is high, then the current consumption is more and the, uh, the motor is going to get heated. Now this is insulation distance test from 125 volt to 1000 volt up to 5000 mega ohms with polarization index and DAR measurement. This is good both for transformers and for uh, uh, motor testing, motor and generator testing. Other than that, you can also use it as a multimeter where you can measure AC DC voltage. It has a low pass filter where the higher, uh, you know, uh, the, the distortion, the higher frequency noise can be removed and the uh, basic voltage can be measured. Also have DC voltage measurement with frequency and uh, you have resistance, simple resistance measurement uh, uh, facility as well. This all, all the readings that this instrument is showing, you can take it down on your mobile phone via Bluetooth connection. So everything that this measures, you can record it here. You can do the analysis on the software or the, uh, or the app that is provided for the, uh, in the mobile phone. And the app comes free of cost with this. The cost of this instrument is somewhere about uh, 80,000 rupees. 
but the problems that it can solve or the problems you could face if you're not using these kind of instruments not only this but any of these kind of instruments it could run into lags as the expert said test and measurement instruments play a critical role in helping power utility and there are plenty of test and measurement instruments available in the market you have to choose your instrument wisely for more updates please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon